Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya and this is my daughter Savannah. Today is gonna be a video that's a little bit different. Savannah's been wanting to do a video uh, where we show off or talk about all of our tattoos and piercings that we've gotten. So it's like a tattoo piercing tour. Obviously we're in a car so we're not gonna be like showing in person here, but I'll put pictures of our, of our tattoos and stuff. Y'all probably think I eat McDonald's every day. <laughs> she doesn't. So I guess the first thing we'll start with is me. I got my first piercing when I was seven. It was just my ears pierced. And then years later, I think probably in junior high or high school, I got my second hole in my ears. And then eventually I got a third hole in my ears. I also tried to get the cartilage pierced and I had that for like three months, but it never stopped hurting. So I ended up taking it out. So that was my ears. You gotta rate the pain rate the pain and like how much you enjoy the piercings I like having my ears pierced but I don't wear earrings much anymore also I'm allergic to nickel so if I'm wearing fake earrings then my ears start to hurt um, and I can't sleep in them or anything so I can only wear them for so many hours the ears don't hurt but the cartilage the cartilage piercing was the worst I've ever had for sure I couldn't even like lay on that side yeah which side did you get it on I think it was my right side. Oh, and that side you lay on, isn't mm -hmm. it? But then my next big piercing was when I was 14 and I got my belly button pierced. And that was in the mid 90s, so that was like 95, 96. Um, so it was a time when belly button rings weren't like super common yet. I was one of the first in my like peer group. Um, to do it and b b belly chains were, fam were famous popular at the time so I would have like my belly button ring and then I had like a, a chain around my, my belly and we had like the low rise jeans and stuff mm -hmm. that was my next big piercing how much did it hurt? the belly button didn't hurt I didn't think it hurt my next piercing after my belly button was my eyebrow is my left eyebrow that I got done and I loved it. That was my favorite piercing I ever had. Um, but then I ended up getting a job where I wasn't allowed to have it. So I had to take it out. So I took it out. Um, but then I didn't work there anymore. So then I was like, well, I'm going to get my eyebrow pierced again. So then I had got the right one done. Um, but then one day I was sitting in my apartment. I was probably 20 years old. And all of a sudden I looked down and the the piercing fell into my hand and I was like oh my god I lost the ball because it was it was like a hoop with a ball and I thought the ball fell off and then the hoop came out but that's not what happened the ball was still there it just grew through my skin rejected it rejected it and so now I have a scar if you've ever noticed in my videos before I have a scar on my eyebrow um, from that growing out I don't know if you can see that um, but yeah those are my younger years piercings. My first piercing, I don't have nearly as many piercings and tattoos as her, but my first piercing was my ears. Um, it was my sixth birthday, right? Mm -hmm. Or seven? It Six. was my sixth birthday? Mm -hmm. Okay, it was my sixth birthday. Got it done at Claire's. Mm -hmm. Did I get them done set, like one at a time or at the same time? I think I did one at one a time. One at a time. Mm -hmm. Which is the worst, I don't know why. I think I chose that too. I think they asked me and I was like, one at a time. <laughs> anyway, it didn't hurt that bad, but I was six, so I still cried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a little bit, not much. I'm also allergic to nickel, but for the first, like, however many years of having my ears pierced, I wore earrings religiously mm -hmm. and slept in them for multiple weeks at a time and then would change them out and sleep in those ones. And, like, and then for the past few years, I would not wear earrings, like, ever except for on occasion which I've been getting back into wearing earrings again I've been wearing these ones for a while so I'm very on and off with my earrings also my ears don't show that much because I wear my hair down a lot and my hair covers yeah. so it also doesn't matter as much but I've had to re-pierce them like a hundred times myself just using a an earring yeah you have to, like, because like poke it back it's still the there skin. yeah like but there's like, like one layer of over. skin yeah mm -hmm. so that has blood before but Mine has two. I've had to do that. Yeah. So my second one. And then I have a video where I, as an adult, just like a, 
a year or two ago, I re-pierced my belly button. You can find it on my channel oh, yeah. somewhere. I took it out when I was pregnant with Savannah and I never put it back in. So I'm just gonna see if I can put it back in. We do not condone you piercing yourself. Children. Yeah, don't, there, I already have a hole here, guys. Don't pierce your own belly button. Ew, gross. What do you mean <laughs> gross? Is it bleeding? It took my skin out. Ew. <laughs> It went through, guys! I have a belly button ring again! And, uh... That was a year ago? A year or two ago. That, it was a while ago. Dang! And I re-pierced it, and it didn't hurt doing it, but then, um... The next few days after that, it was really sore. And I was mm -hmm. like, ugh, forget it, and I took it out. Because <laughs> you took it out when you got pregnant with I me, took right? it out when I got pregnant with Savannah, because they didn't want you to have, you know, belly rings when you're pregnant. My second piercing... <clears throat> was for my 14th birthday. Um, we got it a little after my birthday, like a couple months after, but it was for my birthday. I got my right nostril. There's a video of it. By our enemies, Senate Minority Leader Lyndon Johnson said, today it is Indochina, tomorrow Asia may be in flames, and the day after, the Western Alliance will lie in ruins. Uh, that was it? You did it! I did it! It didn't hurt that bad. I didn't really move or anything. Your eyes obviously water because it's right there, but like, mm -hmm. it, it really didn't hurt that bad. The thing is though, it, as you can tell, you might have probably, you, some of y'all probably didn't even know I ever had one. Um, I don't have it anymore. I had issues with it like the entire time I had the piercing like it never fully healed it always it was impossible to change and it always hurt I think it's just because Savannah doesn't really have the best skin for piercings. I don't I don't my body does not like piercings and also and she got she too, got that one uh, professionally done by our tattoo mm -hmm. artist as much as I love the way they look you probably know this feeling too it is just so annoying to do anything when you have that piercing because you you put makeup on you got to be careful around the piercing you dry your face or wash your face you yank the piercing sometimes like ugh. or like my hair goes everywhere so my hair has probably gotten in the way of my nose piercing before my my issue has never really been a, a nose ring issue it was mostly my eyebrow would get my hair would get stuck in it or brush would mm -hmm. grab it or but i did love the way it looked basically last year like last November, November 2021-ish, it like fell out and then I just didn't put it back in because I was over it. That was my second piercing. My last piercing was my nose ring and I got it when I was- Uh-uh. What? You pierced both your eyebrows. I already talked about that. Oh, I thought you only talked about one. Savannah doesn't listen to me when I talk. No, I put, I got my nose pierced when I was around, maybe around 29 years old, I think I was, somewhere around there. And the place I went to is actually, <laughs> they don't have a good reputation, um, and I will never go back there, but it was like, it was the worst, most painful piercing I had ever gotten. It, just, it hurt so bad, but I still have the nose ring. I still, I still keep jewelry in it. And you change yours frequently because you've never had issues with it. Mm-hmm. It real it looks good on you, so thank you. I also think like certain piercings you have to have the face for it. Mm -hmm. And so like some things maybe are interesting for me to get, but I don't know if I have the face for like a septum. Mm -hmm. You have to have the face for it. I don't know that I have the face for that. And then also like I would love a piercing right here because that would look I feel like that would look good on my face, but it would be so annoying. Mm -hmm. Especially when you have O C D and you constantly mess with stuff. You would be messing with it. I too mess much. with it. Mm -hmm. And that's probably why all of my other piercings have been messed up because I mess with all my everything. <laughs> so next, my 16th birthday, I got my belly button pierced. That is my favorite piercing. And it will always be my favorite piercing. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm not scared. I'm scared to talk to people. I do not Just get your butt all the way back in that chair, girl. All the way, all the way. There you go. All right, girl, take a deep breath. Oh my God. Good job, girl. Woo! I'm so excited. Yay! 
Yay! <laughs> what was your favorite? Your eyebrow? My belly button and my eyebrow were my favorites. My belly button is my favorite piercing. I don't know what it is. It just ups my confidence. It look I I love belly button piercings so much. They're like cute. and all I own is crop tops, so like why not like accentuate my belly button? I don't know. I mean in the nineties all I wore really was crop tops too. Yeah. Unless I was wearing like a big baggy big yeah. baggy shirt and a big baggy day. Out of all my piercings, I haven't had a single issue with my belly button ring. It healed really fast. Um, it didn't hurt super bad. Like, the only part about it is that it goes through such a thick piece of skin that, like, you can feel it. Like, it takes a little bit longer to go through. Mm -hmm. But it didn't hurt that bad. And for the first, like, couple nights or whatever, you can't lay on your belly, which that's how I sleep. <laughs> but, yeah, I've never had issues with it. I can change it really easily, whatever. Then, it's all, I got all my piercings for birthday stuff. Oh, actually, not this one, though. So my last piercing is my eyebrow piercing on my left eyebrow. Um, I got that in the end of September of 2022. And I didn't tell my parents I was getting it. I was already 18 and it was only, it was not that much money. But we knew and that they, she was getting something. Cause she because I couldn't keep my mouth shut. I was going to surprise them completely. But then I was like hinting at it. And then they figured out that I was getting something because I just she can't keep I can't her mouth shut secret. but also it's not a big deal because they're not the type of parents that would be like oh my god you got a piercing behind my back yeah it's not like i got like a tongue piercing that would maybe make you mad yeah it's not <laughs> i i mean i remember wanting one when i was like 18 um but yeah so yeah, i went to the tattoo shop got my eyebrow pierced i really like how it looks i like it on me a lot i plan to keep it for a while so yep. that's all my piercings oh that one it didn't hurt that bad either yeah okay so let's get into tattoos now my first tattoo uh was when i was 21 years old uh, i got married at 21 and my husband had already had tattoos and he surprised me one day he came home with my name tattooed on on his chest uh, with our wedding date He surprised on it. you with that? Yeah, he didn't tell me he was doing it. So what if you were so like... So then I got jealous, and I was like, I want one. What if you were one of those people, though, that was like... Don't tattoo my name on you. And then he would have been like, uh, most, too late. Most likely, we, we had talked about it before, whether we were serious or not. We probably had discussed it before. Yeah. So then I was like, I really, I want that, I want something like that, too. Um, now I have to have, you know, your name on me. So then we went and uh got me a tattoo of his name and our wedding date and my i got mine across my arm right here so i'll show you a picture of that so that was my very first tattoo and in that spot in your upper arm um doesn't hurt at all it i don't remember it ever hurting or stinging or anything it felt fine my next tattoo i went back to the same guy i if you're new here like i'm obsessed with cats and any, any kind of cat, a wild cat, a house cat, any kind of cat. Um, I love like leopards and cheetahs and tigers and stuff. So I found this picture of a little tiger cub um, of just their head. And I went to the tattoo artist and I said, can you make this um, a cheetah head? And he said, yeah. And so I put that on behind my right shoulder here on my back. Um, so it's like a cheetah cub face with like some tribal underneath it so I got that one done I can't remember how old I was but I got that done and then after years and years it started to fade and the color was gone so then when I went to my new tattoo artist when he was working on something on my back he went ahead and went back over that old tattoo for me um, and didn't put color in it this time um, just to liven it up but yeah those first two tattoos were done by one guy that i will never go to again and now we have a new tattoo artist okay so then many years went by my children grew up and i did not get any tattoos during that time really uh so then in 2017 i went uh to our new tattoo artist and um i always wanted my zodiac sign so my zodiac sign is a virgo so i got tattooed on me on the back of my well, right underneath my neck on my back. Um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> me. 
And for some reason, that tattoo did not heal properly. It looked really faded and weird. Um, it was like my own skin was rejecting the tattoo or something. It was so weird. So um, I left it for a while and then I went back. And that's when I started the whole process of getting a, a cover up on my back. And I started that in, I think, 2021. And I went a few times and got the tattoo started. And then also at that same time, I got um, my kids' names on my wrists. So I, I got that done while they were working on my back too. And then... I didn't get anything for about a year and then I went in 2022 and got my back piece finished and that took like five, six sessions. She had an unfinished back piece for over a year. A year, yeah. It's not like it looked bad, it just was unfinished. But that's finally done and that was that tattoo was in memory of my mom because two of her favorite things were cats and dolphins. So I incorporated cats and dolphins in that, in that tattoo mm -hmm. and the rest of it, the tattoo artist kind of it was his imagination and he could do whatever he wanted with it and it ended up very beautiful. And then you also have her handwriting. Yeah, I have her handwriting. I found a card that she had given me years ago um, and it said, love you mom on it. And so um, I had the tattoo artist write love you mom and her handwriting on, on my back. Yeah. So I still have that one leopard print or leopard face tattoo on my back and then I have the big back piece that covers up the weird Virgo sign that messed up and then I have the two wrist tattoos and the arm tattoo. Mm -hmm. and that's it. It's kind of like killing two birds with one stone because you were planning on getting one in memory of her anyway. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm a little new because I'm freshly 18 and in the state of Illinois you have to be 18 to get a tattoo. So basically, so if you haven't seen the vlog, there was a vlog of our trip to Missouri, which was in July. Mm -hmm. and it was Branson, Missouri. Yeah, so in July, and um, I turned 18 the next month. And so it started as a joke because it was not planned at all. But, like, one of you two were like, maybe you should get a tattoo, like, as an early 18th birthday present. Um, like, see what the age is in Missouri. In Missouri, there's no age. You can just get a tattoo mm -hmm. as long as you have parent permission. So... They were like, yeah, maybe you should just get one here. Which I had also planned on going to their tattoo artist for my first tattoo and like all my tattoos. But yeah, it was very last minute. It stressed me out beforehand because I had not thought about what I wanted. I mean, I've put a lot of thought into what kind of tattoos I want, but like I wasn't prepared to just randomly one day be like, I have to decide what tattoo I want mm -hmm. and get it. But basically I went in to this Australian guy I, I love that he's Australian, too. <laughs> um, we went in. The first tattoo shop we went to said they couldn't give us one. Give me one. But they said so, they needed, like, her birth certificate or yeah. something. And I was like, we're on vacation. We don't carry around our birth certificates. Yeah, and then we went to them, and they were like, literally anywhere else would have taken you. Just show us your ID, have yeah. your parents sign, and you're good to go. Yeah. So, basically, I went in there, and I was like, I want, like, a little turtle on my ankle. And then they looked at me and they were like, and they looked at the reference photo of what I wanted and they were like, okay, for a realism type of turtle like that, it's going to need to be a little bit bigger. And then they were like, okay, well you have small itty bitty ankles, so that's not going to work. I was like, okay, what if I got out of my arm? And they were like, I think it would be better because you have small itty bitty arms <laughs> to get it on your thigh. So I got a big turtle, sea turtle on my thigh. And a lot of people ask like what the meaning behind it is. And honestly, it's, I wouldn't get a tattoo that had no meaning, but also there's nothing specific. I just literally my entire childhood, for whatever reason, I was obsessed with sea turtles. Sea turtles yeah. she has I would get little sea turtle things all yeah. the time. Sea turtle like decorations. And mm -hmm. anytime I see anything sea turtle, I just get really excited. Yeah. And like, growing up like we go to aquariums i just want to mm -hmm. see the sea turtles like i don't know what it is i love sea turtles they're just so adorable and they're, they're also very peaceful and stuff so i really like that so yeah i have this cute little sea turtle on my thigh i don't know how to describe it because it like it's it doesn't hurt but it's not like it's not like it's not like nothing a great see. feeling oh my god <gasps> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i knew it and then do it oh my god
That's so sick. I love it. And you're gonna turn it into a whole underwater. Yeah, world, I'm right? thinking I want to do um, an ocean scene. And just my, like other little. But our two tattoo artist is gonna do it for her. Yes, he, and he was also looking at it, and he was like, "They did a good job, but it needs um, some touching up." And <laughs> I'll. He was like, "Just come to me next time." <laughs> yeah. They overcharged you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our tattoo oh. artist is like the best. We love him. The best. Yeah. So that's my tattoo. That's the only one I have. But she definitely is going to get more. I'm definitely oh, going to yeah. get more too. I really want to have a sleeve, like an mm -hmm. arm sleeve. So. See, that? See, I, I want to be covered in tattoos. Like, it would be nice to have some sort of neck or, like, tattoo somewhere around here. But then also, I'm going to get, like, the ocean stuff. And then I really want to tat up my own. <laughs> That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Did that scare you? <laughs> it startled me, but <laughs> you jumping kind of is what did it. <laughs> this sounded like oh a, a boat horn. <laughs> Let's see that in an instant replay. Why? <laughs> Stop. All right, well, I guess that's gonna be it for our tattoo and piercing stories. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Savannah has seen videos like this before. I never have. Me and Savannah watch totally different types of content on YouTube. <laughs> like, I'm really like a true crime junkie. That's usually what, I'm, what I watch. Mm -hmm. And then Savannah will watch- And Colleen. Colleen and like, you know, people who make me laugh, but like true crime is like, 95% of what I watch and Savannah's more in the like lifestyle vlogs yeah. cooking like what I like to film is different than what I like to watch <laughs> oh weird? I forgot to say the pain so they had me laying in a weird position oh for the tattoo yes mm -hmm. the tattoo itself did not hurt that bad I mean obviously they're not gonna feel good but I just have a high pain tolerance yeah. like her I mean, there were some parts where it was less comfortable than others, but the worst part of it was laying there for four hours because I cannot move my position, and by the end of it, my leg was so sore just from laying in the same spot. That's what it was sore from. Well, uh, let us know in the comments what you guys thought of our tattoos and piercings, or piercings, I don't even, who cares about that, but our tattoos. Let us know what you think of those. Um, if you would like to have or see more videos like this, story times or whatever, let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time. Bye poopies.